Hello friends, in this problem you have to simplify this expression and the expression is you have a square root and inside this you have 46 minus 12 times the square root of 14. Now how will you solve this problem? There can be two methods to solve this problem and in this video I will discuss both methods. So let us discuss method 1 that is the first method. Now in this method idea is to write this whole number that is inside this square root as a whole square, perfect square of some number. And for this purpose, what I will do is I will try to factorize 12 times square root 14. So let us factorize and see how we can make this as a perfect square. So 12 times square root 14. So 12 I can write 2 times 2 times 3 and 14 I can write 7 times 2. And now if you remember rules of exponent, if we have a square root of a times b, this can be written as a square root a times a square root b. So if I use this rule, I will have 2 times 2 times 3 and this becomes root 7 and root 2. So let me write root 2 times root 7. Now the key step is the next step. You have to find two sets of numbers such that if you square these numbers and add, then this becomes 46. So let us rearrange these things and then, so what I will do is I will club this 2 and root 7 at one place. So you will have 2 root 7 and 3 root 2 at one place. So 3 root 2. So this is times so this is one number this is another number 3 root 2 and you will also have 2 so let me put this 2 at the beginning so this is something like 2ab this becomes a and this terms become b and this is 2 so this is 2ab now see if you square these two numbers and add you will get 46 that was the trick so 2 root 7 whole square plus 3 root 2 whole square so this is equals to 7 into 2 7 into 4 that is 28 plus 9 into 2 that is 18 so this is 46 so this is the trick now let us put this here so now I have the number exactly we have that is 46 so 46 I can write this is 28 plus 18 so you see here in this equation you have 46 so I am writing 46 as 28 plus 18 and then this thing I am writing as minus 2 times 2 root 7 times 3 root 2 that is this number. So now we can rewrite this is inside this square root and as I said 28 is nothing but 2 root 7 whole square and this 18 is nothing but 3 root 2 whole square and then you have 2 times 2 root 7 this is 2 root 7 times 3 root 2 so let me shift a little bit so this is 2 root 7 times 3 root 2 so we can write now in the next step this is nothing but 2 root 7 minus 3 root 2 whole square so this will be if you take a square root of this this will be 2 root 7 minus 3 root 2 since this is positive square root I have to consider only the positive root and this number 2 root 7 is greater than 3 root 2 you can verify yourself and that's why we have considered the positive root so the answer for this problem is now if, if we simplify this I will have this expression that is 2 root 7 minus 3 root 2 so this is using the first method now I will discuss using the second method now in this method I can write the original expression that is equals to so this was the original problem we can write this as a square root a minus a square root b 
and let us square both sides. So if you square both sides, you will have this side 46 minus 12 root 14 and this will be a square plus b square minus 2ab. So 2 times root a times root b. So you will have both inside that is 2 times the square root ab. Now you equate the rational part and irrational part. So this is the rational part 46 and this side rational part is a plus b and also in this question we are assuming that a is greater than 0 and b is also greater than 0 then only this square root is defined. So a is positive number and b is also positive number it can be 0 also and I can equate the irrational part that is this part this should be equal to this part. So from here I will get two equations. So let us write these two equations. The first equation is a plus b is equals to 46. And the second equation is 2 times square root a b. This is equals to 12 times square root 14. So this is equals to basically a square root a b. This is equals to 6 root 14. So you have two equations. This is the first equation and this is the second equation. Now you can always solve. Let us square the second equation and then I can have in a better way. So if you square the second equation, so squaring equation 2. So what I will have? I will have a b is equals to 36 times 14. Now the value of either a, sorry, either a or b, I can plug in this equation. So let us plug the value of b. So from this equation what we have? I can say b is equals to 46 minus a. So now I can rewrite this expression a times b is equals to 46 minus a. This is equals to 36 times 14. Now this is a quadratic equation. You can expand 46 a minus a square and this is 36 into 14. So this becomes a square minus 46 a minus 36 into 14 is equals to 0. So this is a quadratic equation and if you remember roots of the quadratic equation is given by so if we have root equation ax square plus bx plus c is equals to 0 roots is given by minus b plus minus square root b square minus 4ac and this divided by 2a. So let us solve for a so this equation is you have a square minus 46a and this is minus 504 is equals to 0. So a will be minus b that is 46 plus minus b square 46 square and this becomes minus minus plus 4 times 4 times a times c. Basically I made a mistake so this will be plus this sign here you will have a plus sign. So this will be plus. So now 4 times a times c, a is 1 and c is so minus 4ac and c is 504. And this divided by 2, so this will turn out to be a is equals to plus 46 plus minus this is 2116 minus 2016 divided by 2. So you will have a is equals to, if you calculate this, plus 46 plus minus 10 because the square root of 100 is 10 divided by 2. So from here you will get two value of a. One is 28 and another is 18. So now I have a is equals to 28 or 18. When a is equals to 28, b is equals to 46 minus 28 that is 18 and when a is equals to 18, b is equals to from this equation 46 minus a that is 28. So these are two solutions for a and b. So the square root of original number can be given by this expression that is a square root of a minus a square root of b. So this expression so finally I can say this a square root that is 46 minus 12 a square root 14 this is given as root a minus root b now see this is a positive square root this means this term is positive this means a is always greater than b. So this solution is not accepted because in this case b is 28 
and A is 18. So this set of solution is not accepted because B is greater. So the answer will be under root 28 minus under root 18. So this is what you have 28 that is 7 into 4. So 2 root 7 minus 3 root 2 because 9 into 2. So 9 uh, 9 a square root of 9 is 3. So this is 3 root 2. So this is the answer using method 2 and if you remember you got the same answer using method 1. So this is 2 root 7 minus 3 root 2. So this is the answer using method 1. So I hope you enjoyed this problem and if you enjoy please share with your friends, like this video and subscribe to this channel. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.